Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday, just made my espresso shot at 7 a.m. Um, it's really nice out, it's in the 50s this morning, so I'm gonna go have my morning on the roof and then I have weightlifting at nine. And then today we are getting our lives back together. I've already actually unpacked and like made my to-do list. I did a bunch of that like annoying stuff last night when I got back in, um, and I just have a lot of work to do this week. Next week I leave for New York and I'm doing a bunch of recordings and then we're having a pop-up in New York City for the Okine. If you guys are in New York City, come to our pop-up. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, I'll be there for a lot of it and it's gonna be a great time. You guys can shop the scarves and the beanies early. The day after that we have a launch, so I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done this week and I want to make a start on my rooftop um i have someone coming over today to like take a lot of things off the roof because one i'm not strong enough well i am strong enough but i actually can't even do it myself i had to hire someone because i don't have enough like trash cans to throw the trash away so i have to like dispose of it like take it to a dump or something and i don't have a truck so that's happening my raised garden arrived over the weekend so i'm very excited because hopefully that will be set up and then when I'm back from New York is when I'm gonna start the garden. So we're gonna have a great week. Um, but anyways, it's just like a Monday, nice little Monday vlog, getting our lives together. Need to get my nails done today too. They look awful and also I self tan them really bad, like my hands and it's like literally so embarrassing cause it's been almost a week and they will not go away. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I have weightlifting in 30 minutes. It's not that far from my house, so I'm trying to put together an outfit. I'm getting to the point where I need to be wearing leggings. I'm ignoring her. Anyways, it's getting to the point where I need to be wearing leggings. Like, it's getting chilly. I don't really have, like, I have so many shorts, because obviously it's been so hot. But I need to start shopping for, like, leggings. My biggest thing in fall is outerwear. I have so many coats. And it just like hurts to carry them. Like it, they're so heavy, I'm so extra. So anyways, I'm gonna change. And then I'll be ready for weightlifting. Okay, I'm wearing a set active set. Does anyone else do this where they just like grab a sweater and that's the sweater for like a month that they wear out and about and then they stop wearing it and then onto an X and you forget it even existed? Also guys, like I know I say this in like probably every vlog that I get very self-conscious vlogging because I'm like, I don't even know what to talk about anymore. And I feel like they're just all boring and repetitive. So like, what do you guys want to see in vlogs? So I at least know. Coco, my arch nemesis, just walked in the door. You've not been getting along today. I need lists of what you guys want in vlogs, and then maybe I'll feel better about it. Like, I personally, when I watch people's vlogs, I like watching them when they're at home and when it's the same thing every single day. Honestly, I don't really like it when they even travel. I like, like, them making their coffee and them going to work out, like, that stuff. But what do you guys want to see? All right, guys, I'm listening to Jay Shetty on my way to go weightlifting. I wanted to give a little bit of a weightlifting update. I think I took my first class in like July. I actually should check that because I, I don't know. Does anyone else have a really bad like reference of time? I had a really bad one in LA when there was no seasons and you couldn't tell, but now I get confused because I travel a lot. So I'm like, I don't even know when I started. Anyways, I was going two times a week and now I'm gonna go three times a week and I really like it. I listened to some podcasts on why weightlifting is like so good for you, especially women. Um, I actually kind of want to have my coach on to talk about it on my own show, but I just really, really love it. I like sound like Laura Bostic when I'm talking about this, but like I don't want to stress myself out in the mornings. And there are some times where I like for bot like boxing, I want to like go and like punch something or like Pilates. I obviously have Pilates like I've always loved, but there's something about weightlifting that's very low cortisol, but it's high reward and it's a hard workout, but in a different way. And I hate hit workouts. Like I, you will not catch me doing that. I like running two days a year. Like I, I hate hit workouts. That's one way to get me to like never come back again. So anyways, I've always loved Pilates, hot Pilates, and I've always loved boxing, even though would, yeah, would boxing be considered a hit workout? I like boxing because it makes me feel like I'm getting better at a sport, like how I grew up in Texas playing sports. So I like that and I just love boxing. And then I love hot Pilates for other reasons. I like going and weightlifting in the morning because it weirdly feels peaceful, even though it's not and it's very hard. And when they're, you're doing like a pull up or something, you want to die. But there's something about it that's very low cortisol. And I've heard it's good for like balancing your hormones and stuff. So I actually should have someone on the show. 
anyways i really really like it i feel myself getting stronger so it's like pretty rewarding not almost immediately but pretty quick because you're like going up in weights and you're you know what i mean like i wouldn't I, i'm not like looking at my body for reward or like to change or anything like that so i can't really speak on that but as far as like mentally emotionally spiritually um i actually have really really loved it so that is my little weightlifting update all i think about is the fact that i'm becoming a gardener and i'm so excited i got gardening gloves in the mail okay i mean business um i did go upstairs my plants are like literally already dead like i've been gone for a week and i didn't have someone come water them that would be how it happened not good at all because those i bought literally last week and i just forgot to have someone come water them but i think i can bring them back to life today a man is coming as i said to like fix some things i have new couch cushion and i don't know if they're gonna fit but they're the closest that i could get to fitting on that and so i might if they don't fit fully just have to like figure something out like that is where i'm at i've already returned stuff i've already done stuff and like all these boxes i don't know we're gonna we're gonna have to do something okay guys so in my journey of becoming a gardener you guys are gonna come along and it's gonna be very exciting and i'm gonna be i'm gonna be hunter haven said this to me this is my new series name roof to table instead of farm to table he said it's roof to table thanks hunter i love that um by the way this is your reminder if you live in dallas come to the live show november 11th doors open at seven it's at the factory it's gonna be so fun margot austria is our guest come this is the thing i don't like about myself but i feel very like time gives me anxiety so or like i feel anxious or like stressed out like doing a 9 a.m workout it feels like i'm starting my day way too late when like i make my own schedule and like yeah i have a lot i do have a lot that i need to do but like i make my own schedule i can do things whenever i want and why do i guilt myself for doing a 9 a.m workout and like i do that because I, I do my classes like based off the teachers that i like typically and my schedule i don't know guys does anyone else feel that way and it's like well when i work out it's funny because when i actually I, I just like can't shut up in vlogs lately it's like so many talk oh okay, sorry i just like can't shut up in vlogs lately it's like so many talking portions i'm so sorry guys so i'll stop after this but when I take the time to work out or, and or journal, I will get like twice as much done in that day than I would if I just work straight through it without working out and journaling. Like makes me way more productive. Also doing a sauna and cryo after makes me like so focused. I'm not doing that today, I wish I was. I really don't have time for that, but. back home I've showered and I did a little bit of makeup today just because I'm like breaking out and I don't know um my hair is soaked but I've been using this little not little I don't know why I call everything little um I guess it's like a CBD oil my sister is a hairstylist and told me I need to use this and it's so good and it smells incredible and you know what else I need to do I've been using Divi I just started using it like actually like consistently recently but when you put it on your scalp, it feels so good. Like it makes your scalp just feel so clean. Um, and I lost a lot of hair after having COVID. So I definitely want to try this more. All right, I'm editing right now. And I just, <laughs> look at my new dolly, um, little coasters. I just ordered my favorite breakfast from Chop Shop just because I haven't gotten groceries yet. This sunrise wrap, it's so good and green juice. I haven't made my like actual coffee yet, but I'm getting a lot done. So I'm, I'm very excited. All right guys, I have been working. I have a lot of sweaters and stuff I need to put away. The roof is about to get a little facelift, if you will. So basically I can't fix all this. These plants right now, guys, like I don't know how this happens. Actually I do, but whatever. They'll come back to life. So the rug is going, the cushions are going, those chairs are going, obviously all the trash bags are going, and then um my new cushions are coming up the garden like raised garden is being built and that's gonna go over there it's gonna be really beautiful i did also find outdoor rugs that are going to be sent here i hope i get them this week i kind of doubt i'll get them that fast uh, but hopefully we'll have new rugs i still haven't decided on a new coffee table all of these I and mean, we've got new plans listen i'm bringing these back to life okay i am and if i don't that's not that big of a deal this stuff is all going rugs gone these are gone even though they are crowd fave but they're obviously breaking these have been replaced the umbrellas are driving me insane i'm gonna see if you can fix that but this man is just gonna change my life also i want these gates gone too just a lot of 
trash to get rid of. So much stuff that needs to be put away. Just like extra stuff that I have. Or stuff like leftover from shoots. I have these new like hourglass palettes. Lots of PR. Put in my PR drawer until I bring it out to use it. Taryn's birthday present that I got her a month early and stuff and given it to her. Oh, these are actually also for the rooftop. I put them in the pots. I need to get more so I don't have to like fully fill them up with um, soil. Extra breadwinning housewife sweats. I always like having a lot just because it's limited edition. So I won't always be able to like order it, you know? I have a lot of new towels from Cozy Earth, which has great sheets and bedding. And I think my code is Kenzie Elizabeth. 40 or just conceal is with and you get 40% off but I got all these like towels But I wasn't thinking about the fact that I have so many towels and I don't have like a linen closet So I've got to figure that out. This is for a DKNY deal. I'm shooting today And then I just have a lot of extra clothes and sweats and stuff so and I have a ton in my bedroom So I am getting this done tonight because it's just stressing me out. I hate having clutter like more than anything <laughs> I use the Okine totes like every day. I have like four or five because I use them for different things. Very messy. This closet I want to transform into a cowboy boot closet and I need to find someone who can build it out with lights. As you can see, like the shelves are kind of broken. Like that one down there majorly broke. So I just need someone to come in and fix that for me desperately. I will keep y'all posted. I've asked so many people and so many people just like haven't, just can't. So we've got to figure it out because this has got to be a cowboy boot closet and we have to have a light. It opens, I, I don't know, it's gotta be, it's gotta be cool. I also ordered a runner for this area. So I feel like that'll be cozier. I've like held off on doing it for so long, but it's gonna be like brown and black checkered. I'm just trying to make the most out of the space that I have, which I mean, it's not not a lot, but it's not much. Like I don't have a huge house by any means. So I'm just trying to make like the best of it and keep this as like my home base. And I just, I love it here. I really need to get those light bulbs fixed. But I think the rooftop, having that done will be awesome. And then also the whole thing. Oh, I really want to do, um, what was it? Wallpaper downstairs. And I've been looking at different wallpaper. And part of me wants to do like a fun, crazy print. And the other part of me wants to do like just stripes. So like I know I won't hate it, you know? Um, and then just like doing like a new mirror and like new life picture or something. But I just like can't decide. So while I'm home for two months, that is like my number one project is my home. I've got to figure that one out. Um, but like for wallpaper, what do you guys think? The bathroom is like not big, it's pretty small. That makes a difference, I don't know. I just like can't decide. I don't know. I do own the house if that makes a difference because I know like certain ones are easier to take off and stuff. But I just think about like for, I mean resale is not the same thing as renting. So I don't know. All right, so much stuff is happening upstairs. I got this pillow from Anthropology. Don't worry, this rug. I know I haven't had it that long, um, it's ruggable, but I'm replacing it because there's a brown, like checkered one that I loved and I just love this pillow. I might use it on my bed, I haven't decided, but I just kind of want it to be like more of an eclectic home with like things that I love and I thought that was so cute. I'll link it below, it's from Anthro. <laughs> No, they are perfect. Okay, so I finally fixed new cushions here. The rug is gone. The floors like need to be power washed so bad because all those trash bags that I had out got rained on and stained more. I don't know what we're gonna do with this umbrella in that one. Honestly, I should have just had those taken, but whatever. My raised garden has been built. I could even do like two of these, but this is kind of better in the shade over here. Um, this is gonna be incredible. My goal will be coming when I'm back from New York and we will be starting my garden. I'll be in my gardening era. My plants will be coming back. Don't you worry. And then yeah, the new rugs will be coming. I'm gonna get this power washed. I actually will try to find someone this week because then like when the rugs get here to be better. But I have rugs for this corner and then I have a rug for this corner. And then I don't really know what I wanna do over here now because I thought I was gonna have that here. But I really could do like some more like outdoor bean bags and those are pretty inexpensive. And they're a really big crowd fave when you're entertaining. So once the actual like roof is cleaned, bottom, oh, love that. It's gonna be much better. But I do need to tomorrow plant all this stuff 
I just broke a nail, so like I'm gonna do it after that because I just don't wanna be in pain. So I'm gonna plant all my stuff tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm making us a home-cooked meal. We were supposed to get our nails done and we missed our appointment, so. I'm gonna go tomorrow, but we have our options from Goodles. Got this PR package yesterday and it's basically like better for you mac and cheese. I'm voting on the Chetty Mac. Amanda's face right now. What are the options? It's I'm really... stuck on your comment earlier. Okay, guys, the options. Amanda wants like a tequila shot right now. It's like yeah, literally Monday night. We have Mac, we have Chetty Mac. We have the mover and shaker. We have Twist My Parm and we have Shella Good. I, first of all, I love these names. Second of all, out of all the names, Chetty Mac is the lamest. Twist my good. That's that does it mean it's gonna be okay? But I, these look, this looks good. I'm, can I see the parm boy? <laughs> Twist my parm. I want the white cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna make these. And I wanted to also give you guys a little haul of my Sam Edelman shoes. I got delivered while I was gone. I did pick these out. Sam Edelman is like my go to, it's my favorite place for shoes. I got some little beige um, ballet flats. I'm super into ballet flats this season. Didn't have that color, only have brown and black. So I got those. I also got these, which are like a nicer ballet flat almost. We have, they look so nice and way more expensive than they are. I'm telling you guys, Sam Edelman is where you gotta go to for shoes, especially in the fall. Then I got these hot pink heels. I went shopping this weekend and everything was hot pink and chocolate brown. It was the best day ever, okay? My favorite colors. My favorite colors, which is also great for the oak kind because we have hot pink and chocolate brown coming out, so it's great. Um, got these pink heels that are like not too insane. Oh my God, look at how cute they are. Oh, those They're so cute. And they're like kitten heels almost. Wow, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna wear these like all the time. So like you wouldn't think of pink as like a fall and winter color. And it is, it is. The last ones I got are the most fun shoes. Let me just show you. Amanda, these are, you're gonna love these. Look at how fun. Oh, they are so cool. They have them in like every color. Wait, even black? Yeah. Oh my God. Like they're so love. So these are what I'll be wearing to dinner for girls nights. And now I'm here to cook Amanda food and feed her every need, so I'll um, let you guys know when I'm free again. Oh, by the way, my gardening gloves, they've arrived. Farm to table. No, it's roof to table. Roof to table. Roof to table, I'm gonna make basil, I'm gonna make lots of things. Tomatoes? Mm, I'm not sure, because I actually don't cook with tomatoes that often. I would rather like a carrot. Cucumbers? No, I make pickles. <gasps> yeah, that is true. I should do that. We make pickles. That would be really cool. Yes, that would. Okay, be. I'll do that. Yeah, that's yes. cool. Look at Fitz. He just like, loves me so much. Coco's been on her worst behavior today, and Fitz has been so good. He's just so perfect, right, Fitz? Just is so perfect. He's a giant. He is a giant, but he's so sweet. He's a gentle giant. Okay, well, all right, guys. We actually really like it. I've already tried it. Amanda also said it was good. It's a shit. It's actually incredible. All right guys, I'm watering my plants again. My grandma says I have to cut off the dead stuff, but like, that's all dead. So like, what am I supposed to do? I knew I should have waited to get these plants, but I just like got too ahead of myself. Kinsey. Guys, Amanda, this got the funniest video ever. How do I I love it? my garden. Well, this isn't my garden, to be clear. As you guys saw, that raised garden, that is my garden, and that is where my produce will go if you will. The floors are like disgusting now though, but I did want to see these things. So I only got like certain sizes. So I think it'll work in here to where, yeah, essentially it like saves you. I don't know what this is, confused. It helps drain, yeah, much better. So this needs to be flipped the other way. And I need to get more sizes, they were just out. Good morning guys. It probably looks like it's the same morning every day because I'm wearing my robe, drinking out of the same cup. These are the last line by the way. I got them in a set. Um, they were a gift. They're kind of expensive, but I love them. I have these Peter Thomas Roth 
potency power brightening hydrogel eye patches just in time you guys know i love my loops ones and i just ran out oh my god they look so beautiful i love a good little eye mask so today i'm actually working out at night this morning i have to go get my nails done which i'm like absolutely dreading so i'm just gonna take my clothes from the nail salon and hopefully like no one notices that's like the most obvious way to the hair salon but i feel like if I just mute myself, my nails are just so bad that they're breaking and in pain. I wish that nail salons were open like late at night or early in the morning, which I guess like, yeah, I can work whenever I want, but like still, like it just, you know what I mean? Like it's such a commitment, it takes forever. Okay, so I like these. I have skincare on underneath them, so maybe that's why they're sliding more. I still think I like my loose ones better, but obviously I haven't seen the after effect, just like the actual feel of them. Love them. They're like a close second, I think. Last night, Amanda and I hung out on the rooftop and just talked for a while. And then I actually started a new book two nights ago and I really like it. It's called When in Rome. It's by Sarah Adams. It's really cute. I read the cheat sheet forever ago and I remember like being embarrassed that I liked it because it looks so cheesy. And then, or maybe the friend zone. I don't remember. No, it's a cheat sheet, I think. Um, anyways, it's so cheesy looking and it kind of was a cheesy book and I felt embarrassed and I liked it. And then it like popped off on book talk. So now I'm like, hey guys, you know. Like I'm not embarrassed anymore. Anyways, um, I'm gonna drink my coffee, do my normal morning. Feels weird not working out or even going on a walk, but like I've gotta just not do that. So nails, <laughs> I'm gonna pick up some new plants today because I think I'm doing what we're all thinking, okay? Um, and I'm gonna go into the infrared sauna because I just feel kind of like gross and I need to, you know, sauna and cryo it out. Tonight I'm going to Pilates at 6, and then in between then I'm just like working and getting some stuff done. I, yesterday, edited so many videos, and then I like pretty much, I have the Okine like social kind of planned. I've been working on it on and off for the past few weeks, and I finally got the bonus back. So I have pretty much everything planned, I just need to go to captions and stuff, but the feed is looking incredible for the next launch. By this point, I don't know when this video is going up, but we're launching those on the 17th. If you're in New York, come to the pop-up. My nails are very rough right now. I like the chrome. It just grown out. I don't even know if this place has chrome. I'm going back to Castle. I normally go to Adore now. Adore is just closed today. But like they're so grown out and this one's like breaking and I just I can't do this anymore. Okay, thank you. Okay guys, back in my infrared days. Also got my nails done. I think I like them. I already got two compliments on them. I also got a coffee. I'm gonna read my book. I'm just like getting, getting myself together. Okay, so I'm obviously doing this all separate. I was told that moms would be good for up here and then come to find out they wouldn't be. And then these are, you know, pretty much, that's just over with. So anyways, I'm going to pot all of these. I do have my little like disc things in here. Um, and if I don't, I'm just gonna like put them in or whatever, but I'm gonna pot some of the plants. Uh, I don't know, I probably should have already gotten those. I don't know why I'm making this harder for myself, but anyways, here's my little raised garden. I'm so excited, guys. So I just need to get all of this fixed. The normal pants good to go and then like next week we'll start on the garden <laughs> So updates, got a plant in there, plant in there. We've got 
three more to fill, so I might actually go back to the plant store today, depending on when they close. Trash that I need to take down. We have more potting mix. Hopefully this um, like rooftop floor is getting power washed. I've done it once before, and like honestly, it's so not worth it for me to do it. I, I just have to hire someone. It's not too pricey, but it is just such a pain on a rooftop, and I have a lot going on this week, but somehow you keep finding me on the rooftop, you know? Everything that I'm doing is like so on the computer, especially with the Okine, that it's boring, so I'm like trying to find things for the vlogs that are actually entertaining. So uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying my garden content, which will be coming soon. My gloves, by the way, that I got, they're from Amazon and I love them. I'm actually gonna get another pair for my grandma when she comes over. And we're just, we're gonna get this taken care of. Hi guys, I just made myself some iced coffee. I actually like need this light on. I can't remember, I just ordered so many new rugs for the house from Ruggable and Rugs USA, and I like cannot remember if I got one for this room. Oh, you know what? On Tash Carpet today, I'm gonna find someone to make this boot closet. That is what I'm gonna do. Also, I just Instacarted plants. Some more for upstairs that I really wanna get it done today, and I'm hopefully getting my roof power washed tomorrow. So I want it all, I don't wanna like put dirt on it after I got power washed. I was too embarrassed to go back, um, because I was like, no, 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 I only need this much, well, I need more. And I already asked a lot of questions and I just like, I can't go back today, you know? Because I don't know what, I was like really anxious right now. I was working and this week, I don't know what it is exactly. And I don't always feel this way, like when it comes to confidence in your career or not, I mean like whatever, I feel like everything goes hand in hand these days. But I'm just like really anxious and I'm like, I'm not good enough. My numbers aren't good enough. This isn't good enough. I'm not doing enough. I'm not like people don't care, no one's actually engaged, blah, blah, blah. Like, just, like, whatever, and I, like, spiral. And I'm really anxious right now. And drinking a coffee is not going to help. I know that. Um, but, honestly, I'm, like, falling asleep, and I'm just feeling that way right now, and I probably won't feel that way later. And normally, like, when this stuff happens, I just remind myself that, like, when I'm spiraling, it's not true. And then also, like, it will pass, and I'm not always going to feel this way. But I don't know, it's kind of, like, really all over the place. Um, also, total side note, I was thinking about this today. I should really, I mean, I don't really want to do this, but my podcast needs to be like me podcasting about my garden and cooking and then interviewing people over the age of 60 because those are the conversations I find the most interesting. Um, and obviously I'm not actually going to like totally switch it to that, but also I like, don't have a tan on at all right now. And I like the difference that, that makes is actually like absurd. Like next level, I'm a different person when I'm tan. Okay. And uh, it's not really that great. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Maybe I'll wear these. Okay, so these are from Story. The Story shorts like this are so comfortable. They're so soft. They're so cute. Um, I mean, I just have so much stuff. So I let Amanda take some last night. And I'm like, you are going to absolutely love it. I think I'm going to wear this outfit. And I probably won't change until after I do stuff. But I just think like, I need to, like, kind of change my scenery, if you will. But I don't know. I just think, like, feeling this way obviously sucks. I think it's also like part of life and it's also part of like any career path like it doesn't matter what you do I feel like everyone feels this way um I think I just feel like a lot more pressure on myself sometimes because like I don't have like a boss telling me I'm good at doing a good job or a bad job you know what I mean like I don't have like anyone besides myself telling me things which is like good or bad well I do have people but like they're not like actually my boss you know so they're like a partner or whatever but I've also been thinking about like what I'm gonna wear in New York next week I might actually go to Aritzia because when I went to Aritzia in Nashville last week, they had like the best stuff I've ever seen, at least at the mall and Green Hills. If you guys are in Nashville, go there right now. Like so good. But I think I just like want to get some new outfits and stuff. And I'm excited. Um, it is getting a little bit cooler here today. Like I wore like a sweat set in Uggs. And it wasn't like cold, but I wasn't like sweating by any means. So that's exciting. Um, I need to figure out what rugs and stuff. I think I'm just like wanting like new creative project was like so stupid I have so much going on like why am I and that's why I'm like doing my home but since I'm gonna be here more often in the next couple of months that's why I'm like okay we gotta like get this stuff get this stuff situated guys you know what I actually just absolutely cannot make up right now so you know I instacarted of course I did instead of just going to the store like a normal person and they told me these were a different size and they're like so small. So this is gonna be one of the plants. 
and not the other two big ones. And I'm just gonna have to be very careful, but um, I'm gonna like put it all together and see how this works. working on more pop-up stuff and naturally I'm anxious again because I like my garden not my garden I don't have a garden yet my rooftop I just am having one of those days and it's okay I probably will feel better like by tomorrow or honestly even after my workout looks like in an hour it's obviously just like running a business is very difficult and it's very emotional because it's like your baby especially when like you don't have like the money to do like all the things that you want to do or obviously it's just like so expensive and then like when you're a small brand, like, you don't have money. I'm gonna feel better once I work out. I wish my workout was, like, right now. Because I know it would just, like, solve some of my problems right now. So, I think I'm gonna, like, put on a comfort podcast and chill. Maybe I'll do a meditation. <sighs> Maybe I will do that. I actually have that app that's, like, $30 a month. And I, like, I did the trial and then I forgot to cancel it and now I've been charged. What is it called? Superhuman. So, I might as well make use of it. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna work out, and then I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna self tan, I'm gonna order dinner because I haven't grocery shopped. I'm gonna do that tomorrow, I think. Maybe I'll order groceries right now. I'm feeling better since I left my house. And also, I just had like two more people confirm for the influencer brunch that I'm so excited about because I just have been wanting to meet them forever. So anyways, I'm on my way to Shine Hot Pilates, which is where I take Pilates in Dallas. It is my by far my favorite place. I've taken from everywhere, literally everywhere, and Shine is my favorite. It is also the closest to my Hot Pilates studio in LA, and the Uptown one, the only difference really was that there was no infrared, but in the Uptown location, they have it now, so I'm like so excited. And actually, I'm taking from Rachel, who's a new teacher there, and she came to my New York live show and DM'd me and I guess she moved to Dallas and like found um, Shine like through my Instagram or wherever she found it, I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna go take from her because that's so exciting. And yeah, then I will be feeling better. I have a great life. I have my dream job. I love my life. I love my friends. I love my family. I love y'all. Everything's gonna be okay. It's not that dire. And not everything that I've done sucks. And not that my life should be based on people liking me, but I more so mean like, people on the internet that like I made this content for like there are people who like me I think and it's gonna be okay it really will be okay so anyways I'm gonna listen to some country music because that'll also make me feel better and then I will be in Pilates soon and then that will solve all my issues I'm home and I have self tanned as you can see, looking a little crazy. I just wanted to give you guys a reminder that our podcast, or my podcast, say everything is ours, um, the I Love You So Much podcast is available on YouTube. So here are our recent videos. People have been loving the episodes lately, but everything is on the YouTube channel as well, so you guys can watch it if you feel like it. I will have it linked. I just ordered some food for dinner, and I'm just, I had, had a not great day, so I'm just gonna you know, eat, go to bed, and then we'll try again tomorrow. back to my little eye patches it's 7 a.m i'm going to the weightlifting put my eye mask on wrong yesterday so i'm gonna try to get them right this time i feel like sometimes the other way just like makes more sense i actually do really like these eye masks especially when i'm gonna put them on the right way i'm so diehard for my loops ones but i like these a lot i just made myself an espresso shot i have my water ready and I have 20 minutes until weightlifting, so I'm gonna head out in a second. So last night I started to feel better, and then I kind of like doom scrolled on my phone a little bit. And I was still feeling a little anxious, and then I um, read like 60% of my book. I only have about 20% left. Uh, when in Rome, and it's actually really cute by Sarah Adams. I really, really like it. So I'll finish that today at some point. Ooh, this plus the eye stroller is like very me, you know? Oh, it's really hot. I just have to wait a second. Um, but I woke up today feeling better. I haven't done my morning pages yet, and I should. I just I won't have time before weightlifting, so I'll do that when I get back. Um, and then this morning, I'm actually gonna go 
get brunch with Taylor, um, who's a friend and also Amanda's sister-in-law. Technically, I guess we'll be like Batman pastor, but I'm not really like in church as we know. So anyways, we're just gonna go to tribal and catch up. We had dinner too last week before I went to Nashville. What do I do? Like how am I supposed to drink this? I can't bring this in my car. Guys, Macy and I just went to boxing. I love the bag. It's my entire life and more. Yeah, you could literally run away. <laughs> I'm getting ready and I wanted to film because I'm trying at the Tower 28 Sunny Days. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF. It's a tinted sunscreen. I haven't even, I guess I'll just put this on instead of putting on glow screen underneath it. It's 9 a.m. I like am not loving my outfit today and I just, you know, it's one of those things, but that's probably too much. I normally, for the record, wear sunscreen under even a tinted sunscreen because they don't trust it. But today I just wanted to see what it looks like. I'm a huge fan of Tower 20. I love their lip jellies. I love, obviously, this spray, the SOS spray, is the best thing that ever happened to me. It helps so much with breakouts, and I just love it. So anyways, they sent me this... Let's just try. I actually really like it. Yeah, I feel like it actually gives like good coverage and good color. Like matches my color perfectly right now. Okay, well I'll let you guys know once I like do the rest of my very minimal makeup routine, but I actually like really like it. Here's my like three minute makeup with the tinted sunscreen and I actually really like it. Don't be alarmed, but I like might be in my preppy era. This is what I'm wearing to go pick up plants and go to breakfast. Like, where's my monogram, you know? Y'all, look at Coco. Hard at work. Isn't that true? Coconut. Then we've got little Fitz over here with his toys. I swear to God, this dog is a human. I asked him, hi, bub. I asked him what toys he wanted, and he moved his head towards the yellow one, which is the one he wanted, but I gave him both. You are the smartest dog I've ever met in my whole life. I just took him outside. By the way, this collar is because it's from his trainer, basically. So it, it goes on whenever he's like in and out outside or whatever, but I'm gonna take them on a little walk. Look at him. You are so handsome. Uh, you are so handsome. I feel like the dogs are never in the vlogs. So they're just always on the floor when I'm filming. Here's a little update. Coconut is turning seven in November, which is so crazy. I got her when I was 18. I'm like not doing well with her getting older, but she's a small dog, so you'll be in good health, right? Right, Coco? She's a Morky, for those wondering. Um, I like when her hair, it's hard to get, like her groomer in LA did it perfectly where it was the teddy bear cut. Like there was no like Yorkie here. It was all like a circle. And she looks so young. And then Fitz is a golden doodle. He just has like a different coat than the standard ones. I don't know why. I feel like I like never hold. Well, I do when people come over. Coco kind of runs the place though, I'll be honest with you. Isn't that true? Anyways, had a great breakfast with Taylor and now I'm gonna go plant these plants. They're getting power washed or my rooftop is getting power washed at two. I have meetings, other things that I need to do, things that were getting done. But yeah, that is, that is what is on the agenda currently. Alright guys, so the plants are all good for at this point. The roof, like ground, is getting power washed today, cleaned and then power washed. Um, over here, I just like don't know what to do about this umbrella because like, look at that. The bolts have just, like that happened in the weather. I don't think you guys can see right there. And it's not like I'm attached to these umbrellas, I need to keep them. It's more so like, what do I do? And the, obviously the sandbags are all over. How are they even gonna power? I don't even know what they're gonna do here. I really don't know what to do with this umbrella. I, I don't know what to do. And it's gonna look ugly in the background of all my beautiful work. All right guys, I'm gonna do laundry. I have a little bit less to put away than I normally do when I'm waiting for it. 
carrying this up the stairs. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna go home trying to fool. I'm so out of breath, it's like not even funny. <sighs> so anyways, I'm waiting for some meetings and then I have the power washer coming over, so I'm gonna do laundry really quick to just get out of the way. I can't talk anymore, I'm out of breath. Like, maybe I'm really not in shape. Anyways, gonna watch the D'Amelio show in between. Is anyone else watching? I actually really like it. Watch the D'Amelio's and the Kardashians. Those are the two shows that I watch now, um, both on Hulu. I did as much laundry as I could, but I am out of hangers. So I need to go through and donate more clothes, even though I feel like I do that every day. Also, I don't know if I showed y'all my new pillow. I think I have. I decided to put it on my bed, and I just think it's so cute. It's from Anthropology. Also, again, ignore the lamp that's broken, but I switched back to the light bulbs with the remote because I don't like having the app on my phone because I don't like getting on my phone before bed. Like I put it face down, I have my alarm on it, or I use the hatch, whatever. It charges next to my bed though, and um, I put it face down like this. You can't see it obviously. And then I like having the remote because after I'll typically do like, oh wait, I just turned it off. I'll typically do red lights and it controls both of them. Um, at night and then I'm able to just turn it off with the remote instead of getting back on my phone So I am very in to this remote and these light bulbs. I'll have them link below I've done it on the phone and it just puts me back on my phone at night and I really don't like it So I, it is another remote, but like whatever much much better <laughs> Guys, I'm so happy because I just got so much PR from Benefit. I always wanted Benefit PR, especially when I started on YouTube, which was like literally a decade ago. Um, and I feel very cool. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm really excited to try this spray. I love Benefit, I have all these brow products. I'm actually getting my brows microbladed this week. I think that's what it is. Um, so I don't know if I'll be able to use them, but I love their mascaras. I'm so excited oh my god amazing thank you so much to benefit the hula bronzer like never forget the hold that this had on us in like 2016 it is such a good bronzer and then i am always into new blushes i used to love their dallas blush like just because it was called dallas i'm pretty sure i'm not even sure if i like the color it was too young to know anything not that i really know anything these days either but Anyways, I'm so excited. If you guys have used any of these products, like you guys gotta let me know. Here I am, doing a quick grocery trip at my favorite place also. These ballet flats are on sale right now. They have fur in them, but you can't tell. They're the most comfortable shoes ever. You have to get them. I'm just so happy it's so fall. Wow. My hair is a mess today, but I'm gonna give you guys a little haul. I'm making cabbage soup tonight. My friend Macy is coming over. We're gonna make TikToks, and I'm supposed to be like stamping the Okine bags, but the ink pads still haven't arrived. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but anyways, thyme, celery, carrots, onion, mango, butternut squash. I love butternut squash roasted with some cinnamon in the oven. It is so good. Okay, I got bunch of chicken stock. Also, I wanted to try this coffee. It's the cold brew from Califia Farms, the mushroom blend. I love anything like mushroom related, so I felt like I would like this. It's unsweetened. Alertness and energy. I think this is supposed to like, it's a boosted brew. So it has some sort of boost. I think this helps like you be more alert. Diced tomatoes, garlic aioli, of course, tons of Olipop. Paprika, which I definitely already have, but I got it in case. And then mustard seasoning. Guys, I just, 
What is going on in my brain today? Not much, clearly. Okay, I got bread. Oh, guys, you might be like, who buys magazines at checkout? Especially um, Eating Well Soups in Southern Living Farmhouse. It's me. I, I buy these at the end of checkout. I'm 25, by the way. 25 years old, so I don't know what that says about me. They just felt, it just felt right. You know, comforting meals to make and share. Also, I think I finally found like a recipe book that I'm very excited about because I hate, I need to finish this haul. I hate like when I'm cooking and stuff that I'm on my phone again for the recipe, if it's a new recipe. So I wanted it like a recipe book that I could have for my house. Like custom, cute, whatever, and I could just have that out and ready to go. So I think I found one today. I got steak and then bacon and then cabbage. Last thing I was gonna say, sweet potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna put this away and then probably read my magazines. I have a lot to do this week, but there's not much that I can do until Jess does a few things and then I can do them because it needs to be on the website for all the like text and email marketing and stuff. And then I can't start on bags yet until the ink pads arrive. And that's what I designated today to do. So I'm gonna get as much done now so that I can do that later. I might even watch, oh my God, you know what I should do? Master Chef. No, not Master Chef. Master Class with my farm to table Master Class. I'm obsessed. I really actually have like literally an hour. I don't know why I'm not the guy all the time in the world. This looks and smells amazing. I really filled it to the top. So the masterclass that I love, well I have two now, the one I've been watching is Alice Waters and she's doing like the art of home cooking. A lot of it is really farm to table. I think from what I've understood, she has been a leader in like the farm to table movement. I just started the gardening one with Ron Finley and he is so funny. Like everything he says, he's not trying to be funny. He's just one of those people that like literally everything he says is funny. So I love him. Um, this is him right here. I guess you can't really see him, but anyways, or I guess there's actually a photo of him. Being your instructor, planning a revolution, and he's doing it in like South LA, which was or is considered like a food desert. Um, and just like really cool stuff that he's done. So anyways, very exciting. This looks amazing. I'm so happy for myself. All right, guys, working on the tote bags. Look who it is. Hi, friends. It's Macy, we're back. Um, just made dinner. How about the stamps? Doing all the tote bags for the pop-up. Wow. Well, good morning, guys. It is Thursday. It's hard to talk with this face mask on, but I have a loose mask on. It is Thursday morning, so that means wake up, drink my espresso shot, and watch the Kardashians. Also, um, so last night, I was working on the New York tote bags for the pop-up, and they're like super cute. Look at them, these beautiful designs on them. They're really cool, um, it's just taking forever. So I got 12 done yesterday, and I think we want like 50, so I'm gonna have to finish that by Monday, probably, or I'll just do what I can, and then Jessica will have to do the rest. Maybe I'll do less, I don't know, but I think I'm gonna do that while I watch the Kardashians, or I'm gonna, yeah, cause it's like a, yeah. And then I have to work on Clavia stuff. I have therapy at 11, my house is getting power wash at 12.30, I have a bunch of random stuff I need to do, I do need to like kinda go through my closet and get rid of some stuff, um, and I also need to go shopping at Aritzia for my trip next week, and also I just like really want to go there, and it's like, kinda my solo day of the week. Um, oh, my new rugs arrived today. We've got some things happening, okay? I'm really making my house a home. It really already feels like a home, but you know what I mean. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with these chairs for the kitchen. Like, I've wanted to replace them since I bought them, which is two years ago, and I still haven't done that. So, what do you guys think? Like, what do I do? Also, if you guys are watching on YouTube, where do you watch my videos? Do you watch it on your phone? Do you watch it on your laptop? Or do you watch it on YouTube? I feel like all people are watching them on their TV. I need you guys to comment and tell me right here on this video. I kind of want like wood chairs, but kitchen chairs are so expensive. Like they actually want to rob you for all that you're worth. So I'm going to have to figure that one out. But um, I don't know. I really do need new chairs. I think it would really transform this room and make it more mature and cozier and homier. You know, I want wood, like, cool chairs, I think. 
Anyway, it's time for the Kardashians. My face mask is done for. I, look at my hands. The ink just keeps getting me, okay? I've done 17 bags and we need to do some more. Um, I've just been working this morning. I had to make some orders and stuff for our pop-up. I'm working on our emails, just like, you know, the usual not so fun stuff. Currently making toast and then um, I have therapy at 11. I'm really hoping I can make it to the mall today and I'm really hoping that I can set up my ruggable rug, the big one, because that is such a pain. I can't take myself seriously, like this is what I look like right now. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm getting really excited for next week, and I cannot, I look like, he's just so handsome. He's just my best buddy. Oh, dude, love me. Oh my God, we're just so in love. We're so in love, right, Fitz? Oh my God, I'm crying. Guys, I'm so happy right now. I wish I would have filmed or vlogged my outfit. I'm wearing my brown, I think it's like, really cute pants that are actually a matching set. You can't even see them, so who cares? They're like a sweater material. Then I'm wearing a brown t-shirt from set. And then I'm wearing my brown, like all chocolate brown, by the way. Chocolate brown sweater. And I am just like so happy. I'm on my way to therapy. Um, there's never like, okay, actually, no. I need y'all's input. What is the best time of the week to go to therapy? Keep in mind, I don't love doing like a night one because I like being at home on weeknights. Like really, I'm talking like home. I mean, I work from home so I can, I'll be at home anyways, but like home at like six starting my night. Like I don't, <clears throat> no, no, no. I don't want to go do like a therapy appointment at six. However, I was doing Thursdays at one and that just like cut my day and I didn't really like it. And then she finally had an opening for 11s on Thursdays. And I'm like, you know what? That's at least better. And normally I would work out, but like my body was not feeling it today. So I just like got work done this morning. And I feel like 11 is better than one, but what, like, what is the perfect time to go to therapy? I feel like there is not one. But anyways, can't get the ink off my hands still. I've scrubbed them. It's still there. Going to therapy, getting coffee, and then my rooftop is gonna get power washed. I have Skims order coming in today. I have UGG order coming today, and then I have Ruggable order coming in today. It is a great day in my household. So nice. They just came back in, and... Brought my rug up. Like, that's literally so nice of them. Anyways, now I'm going back upstairs again because my rooftop has been power washed as well as my balcony. This is a little bit dirty. Oh, definitely gonna need to vacuum. Oh my God, like night and day. This is so exciting. It is so worth it. I can't decide if I want to set up my rugs first or go to the mall first. I feel like going to the mall is a better choice because people will be at work and then I can just work later tonight. I got so much done. I've been learning so much about Clavio, which is, Basically, if you ever get like email marketing or like SMS marketing, it's from like Clavio or like something like that. Um, another program, and I'm just learning so much. So I've been setting all that up for the next like month, month and a half with our next drop. And then hopefully we won't have that much longer until our drop off to that. So my rugs have arrived and I need to go to the ball, which I'm not really feeling right now, but my Wi-Fi is out. The Wi-Fi turned off and then I got a call from AT&T saying they think something happened. So I think that they like hit something when they were power washing, but I don't know what would what it would be and like what it would be up there. Maybe there was just too much power and like maybe there was like a power an outage, but like there wasn't because everything else was fine. I don't know. I'm like not equipped to deal with this stuff. I really have no idea what I'm doing. So that's actually important because I can't work without Wi-Fi. All right, guys. So I've already started with the rug. I got a little ahead of myself, and I just want to say this rug is perfect and. Is perfect. Oh my god, I don't know how many it is. Woo! This is a really big workout. We've got it at workout today. I wish they would just put this like with the pad already on it. Like, I would kill for that. But the rug is kind of perfect. I thought it was gonna be a little more like chocolate brown, but I like how it's neutral and just like cozy. Feels like a little bit less busy than the other one, which is calming and also great for the holidays. Like, all right, here's the new rug. I haven't been able to move the couch out all the way over. Oh, look at Coco. That's so sweet. I haven't been able to move the couch over because I'm just not strong enough. I, it's too, like, big. So this will go over and cover a little bit more, but I definitely like this rug a lot better. I feel like it's a lot more me. See, I like neutrals for my home, but I want a few, like, little fun things. Also, I have so many, like, barefoot trains blankets and stuff that I just need to bring back out. I have so many blankets. Like, that's only one stack of them. So I'm going to like make it really cozy and have more blankets, have them on the side, all that stuff. Um, but 
a lot better in here. And then I have this, this like print of a rug in a runner that's coming for the upstairs. And then I do, I did order one for my closet that's just like white and fluffy. That will, I think it, those two, I think those also arrived today. So gonna figure that out today. I will say I got the ruggable with the thicker padding and it was a million times easier to set up. Like so much easier. Cause sometimes it's hard to like stick. I did this by myself and like barely even had to fix like anything. So I would definitely recommend this one. It's also like more comfortable, but like so good. Walking into my favorite mall ever. All right, I'm sorry. I just have to go. I really do. Guys, I've been here for two seconds. I already got Uggs, which I literally have a pair that just got delivered to my house like right before I left. Obviously Bath and Body Works, Starbucks. I'm like back in seventh grade. This is my most classic color. I don't actually, they gave this to me. I didn't even get this one, but they probably just assumed because it is my most classic color palette. Neutrals, hot pink, chocolate brown. Also, I think I might become a cargo pink girl if I like these. We'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. And this would look really cute with the Oakland sweater. I don't know though, or scarf. It's kind of purplish, but I think it could be fun. This is embarrassing. I've been here for like 20 minutes. Oh, as soon as we find out who you are, trust you will be dealt with. Period. Not me getting TCU PR. Like, so cool. I spoke at TCU um, in August. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, like literally so cute and so sweet. I'm keeping this card forever. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul because I just bought a lot of things and I have also received some packages today. So the Uggs that I have now, I've had these for years. Like I've had these for probably like four years at this point. And I decided I wanted like the super short ones. Like I have, I had the minis before they were like the ultra minis, right? So I decided that I needed just a new pair of chestnut ones also. The ones that I'm wearing are just like really run down. So I got a new pair and I got the ultra minis. I wear these probably like every day in the fall and winter. I have just such an Ugg girl through and through. I, when we were younger, my sister and I would share Uggs and we have this closet and I think we have like 20 pairs between us from, because we started getting them in like elementary school. And so between both of us and our birthdays and Christmas, it's all we ever asked for. So we had a collection starting like from like elementary school to high school and we had so many pairs of Uggs. I still have some from that time period, um, but I was just obsessed. We had older cousins, so they like taught us what was cool. And then I went shopping with my aunt and it was Ugg and it was Juicy Couture and it was Justice. And I still shop and wear Ugg and Juicy like regularly. So not much has changed. Okay, and then this is really exciting. I got the Ugg just normal minis that I'm wearing. But I got these in, I think it's like the chestnut color, not chestnut color, it's like dark walnut or something. I'll link them below, but they're chocolate brown. So I will get so much wear out of this. I wanted to get a new pair of Ugg slippers, but like I'm spending so much money and I just bought two new pairs of Uggs today. So maybe I'll hold off on the Ugg slippers. I do have like a lot of pairs of Uggs, but the thing is I don't mind, I mean, not that Uggs are like, I mean, Uggs are not like cheap, but um, I don't mind spending when I will wear these forever, especially Uggs because they genuinely last me years. So, two new Uggs. This is just like such a happy day for me. Love this so much. Actually, we're gonna go next to Skims because Skims, I saw new pajamas and I immediately had to order. Um, I am working with Skims currently on Instagram, but like not on YouTube and I mean, I wear them every single day. So, Listen, I need the Fits Everybody long sleeve tees and they're out of stock right now and I just need them and I have lost some of them I think because they used to have chocolate brown and that one's gone and I would literally wear it all the time and they didn't have any other long sleeve and this is like literally this one long sleeve top but I was like, look, I feel like I could wear it as a top. Is that weird? No, I feel like it's fine and this is just like so, in the fall, this is my look. Jeans, like slouchy jeans, Uggs, long sleeve tight shirt with a sweater, cardigan, outerwear, and then the Okine like beanie scarf. Like that's literally what I'll be wearing every single day. So uh, I feel like it's gonna be fine. Like, is it weird to wear a swim top? I don't know. Like I feel like, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. I don't really care. Next thing is what I'm like so excited for. Just you wait. So Skims has a new like pajama set that has this like little wrap top thing. So this is the top, but it's almost like a robe. And then the bottoms, like they're so soft and cute. 
I will not be wearing the white set tonight because I will be self tanning and that will not be happening. But I will be wearing the gray set that I also got. Guys, my, I will say my spending right now is out of control. I go through months where I spend no money at all or like I don't spend more than I need to be spending. And then some months, like when I start spending, I just can't stop. Like, especially when it's like fall and I'm actually excited to wear clothes and stuff. Okay, so here we go. Gray, soft, love. This is what I will be wearing tonight with the same wrap top. I'm gonna link everything that I can link below. I mean, so cute. Aritzia doesn't have, um, I, I'm gonna link like dupes to the Aritzia stuff probably, but, and I have a package coming from Skims tomorrow. Um, they just emailed me because I'm working with them, so great. All right, moving on to my Aritzia packages. I love my girls at Aritzia North Park. I I love them. I, I've really made friends with them, I feel like. Okay, so I got this oversized blazer. It was already marked oversized, like right here, but I still got a large um, just because, here, I'll show you guys. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell because obviously it's brown. But I want, like when I wear a blazer, here. When I wear a blazer, I need to be like swimming in it, right? Like I need it to be like way too big for me, especially when I'm gonna wear like big chunky sweaters and turtlenecks underneath. And I just thought this was perfect and I didn't have a good like brown blazer, I only have a good black one. So I have like good like printed and bright colored ones, but like not for fall. So this is gonna be like one of my most worn things. I'm kind of over, I'm not over blazers, but I'm over the way I've worn them before. Dare I say I'm getting over pantsuits because I wore the hell out of pantsuits, especially earlier this year, it's like all I wore. So I don't know if I'm like over them, over them, but like I'm getting more specific with what I like. And then also I'm like, I should branch out and do other things. So anyways, I love this blazer. It is perfect. Next thing I have, oh, is this beautiful, like hot pink sweater that I just love. And I got this in an XL. Um, just like oversized from Sunday Best and I really like Sunday Best and I just thought this would be so cute I'll probably wear it next week Probably for like a day that I'm recording or something. I just Like I really really love it. So That was fun. I also got these like corduroy pants. I've been wanting corduroy pants. My sister actually there were these corduroy pants How many times can I say that? There were these pants that I wanted at Urban and my sister got them because they didn't have my size or something like that and she ended up getting them and they looked so cute on her. And so I was like, you know what? And they were from Urban. I already said that. Okay. Um, I love these. They're Levi. They're just like straight leg, rib cage, straight ankle. And I love the like corduroy of it all. I think it's super cute and fun and different. I don't have like cool pants that I love. Something about pants is just like boring to me. I don't know what it is. So I don't have a ton. I just got like a TNA long sleeve because you can never have too many. And again, I need more of the Skims ones. I got this sweater from, again, Sunday Best in a small, so it's like fitted. It is the softest thing I've ever felt in my entire life and I will be wearing it with um, a picture. This is my outfit vibe that I'm thinking. Sweater, jeans, Uggs, okay, and scarf, potentially beading, depending on how cold it is. When I'm in New York next week for like a chill outfit and I just, like I just love it so much. Last thing I got are Melina pants. And like, I don't know if I just like trick myself into getting these because when I put them on, I'm not obsessed with how they look on my body. Am I the only one? And I already got a pair and they were like too small and I never, I just like kind of ruined my, I just like didn't take them back and like whatever. Um, I sized up in them and I love the color and I feel like I will just, it's like, I don't love it around like my stomach area. Like something about it, like the zipper doesn't like close perfectly. I don't know what it is, but like, I like them on my legs. So like if I wear something, like there's ways for me to wear them where I like how they look. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making any sense to you guys. I'm also just like kind of losing my mind. Um, but they're so soft and they're cute and I figured they'd be cool with just like whatever and like big oversized um, sweaters and then I can wear them with heels and wear a cute top and like whatever. So like they're gonna be a lot like really worn this fall even though I'm like iffy on them. Maybe I'm just iffy on them because they're not used to wearing them, you know? I just can't tell, and they are quite the investment. I hear Abercrombie has cheaper ones, um, so maybe I should try those out, because you know I'm such an Abercrombie girl. Um, I cannot wait for the Abercrombie at North Park to open. Like, that is gonna be quite the day. Although I don't need to be shot. I just bought, like, all new jeans from Abercrombie, and then I, they sent me sweaters that I've been loving. 
Oh, I have another sweater from them I need to wear next week. I really need to switch my closet over. Maybe that will happen this week. Last thing, okay? Guys, you're like, Kenzie, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I know. I need like a whole fall shopping day. So Dom is coming the weekend of Halloween because we're going on this like USC. It's going to be really fun. Um, and I want us to have like a fall mall day because that is what I miss and that is like our most fun time together. Okay, so I got Marshmallow Fireside, which is my all-time favorite candle ever. Like, I, I have so many of these always. Um, and then I also got Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. Now, here's the thing about me. I love when my house smells like sweet and artificial and whatever in the fall. I don't mind it at all. But I always had this candle in my house growing up. So when I moved to LA and I would be like, not necessarily homesick, but like, you know when your house just doesn't feel like a home? Like I would say this house is the closest I've gotten since moving out eight years ago to a house feeling like homey and it still doesn't really feel that way to me. I think maybe it's just like it doesn't feel that way until you have like a family. I don't know. But one thing that makes it feel very homey is the set. <laughs> okay, I have to go. That's it. Bye, guys. All right, guys. I feel very fabulous in these. Um, and the best part is that I can wear these after a tan because they're so dark. I will say I got a medium. And I normally get a medium in Skins Pajamas. And I like the medium because I feel like it's normally a little bit more oversized. But I wish I would have gotten these even in a size large. I would have sized up like two. Well, it just depends. Size up one or two. Sometimes I'm getting You never, you know, sizing is just like all over the place. Anyways, the other pajamas I get from Skims, I prefer in a size medium, but I do have smalls. They fit. I just like my um, pajamas to be like super loose, and I feel like they're just like a little bit, they're not like tight, but like, let me show you if I can, I don't even know if this is gonna make sense. Like, right here, they're a little bit tighter, but obviously around the rest of the leg, they're like loose. So they fit right. I just think like, I don't know, they actually fit perfectly. <laughs> Um, but I just want like looser. I don't know if that makes sense. No one really cares about this, but anyways, I like love this set. It is so cute. All right, guys, I just put some stuff together for New York next week just because I needed to put my stuff away up here and then also I needed to hang up my clothes anyways. So I just threw a few things together that came with the new outfits. This made packing so much easier. This sweater, by the way, from Abercrombie is perfect for the Molina pants. I love this jacket I got last week as well. The North Park one didn't have all the like really fall stuff yet or like more winter stuff yet. So I should have just picked this stuff up at Greenhouse, but it's okay. I'll probably wear this just because I've been wearing these non-stop from Abercrombie. I'll link it below. Most worn sweater so far. Like I wear it 24-7. And then I'll probably bring a vest and then my outerwear, of course. I don't know if I'm going to bring this one. Um, I think it's cute with my like color scheme here, but I'm not sure. This coat just like, this is an H&M buy. I think it was like $70. It's, it's piling now. So I, that's an easy fix, but I will say, but honestly, this might be the best purchase, like clothing wise, of my life. It is the perfect, like, beige coat. And I actually just bought it in white yesterday online. See, this one I mean, my shopping's out of hand. Um, but it is like one, it's probably my most important thing in my closet. So it almost makes me, which I know this is so stupid, but since I wear it all the time, I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't wear it again. Like, how stupid is that? That's ridiculous. So I will be wearing it to New York, even though I wear it every day. The only issue with having huge outerwear is that it looks like you're wearing the same outfit every day. So. Anyways, I'm bringing those. I have this stuff. This will probably be more so for recording vibes, um, but I'm really honestly excited. I just, it's so fun to plan out outfits and to get dressed when it's fall because there's so much you can do, you know? All right, guys, I am obsessed with my home right now. Like, look at how cozy it is. There's just a bunch of like junk over there. I haven't rearranged that. And the coffee table will be changing shortly. This is what I mean by like, I want it to be neutral and cozy, but I want like pops, but I don't know, and I have like way too many coasters there, I just like always am using coasters. It's cozy with my blankets. I have um, a furbish like a needlepoint pillow that I just like love furbish stuff. Obviously, it doesn't really match, but like, you know, I mean, whatever. So anyways, over here, I obviously have my art print, or not print, my art piece 
by Mackenzie Jones. It's custom. Right there it says y'all can go to how or you can go to how I'm going to Texas. The very classic, classic quote. Dolly Parton coasters, just like work stuff. That all has to be there right now. But I do think like wooden chairs would look much better here and much cozier. And then over here, cozy, whatever. This corner right here, like, oh, hi, bub. Look at him, just smiling. Um, okay, so I have a vision. I just found these mirrors on TikTok and they're unbelievable. This is the username. Like, so beautiful. And you can get them custom and they have one. See, I would have loved like a checkered one if I didn't have, obviously, this checkered rug. This one right here. Imagine how cozy that would be. Probably like really expensive. Maybe I could just like not get like a huge one because look, they have one here. Like that size, I mean, I would die for right there. That would be the coolest thing ever. I don't even know if you can get a mirror picture there. One, the lighting would suck, but also just like it's small. I mean, just look at how perfect it is though. I think I really, really, I at least need this mirror smaller hung up. It doesn't have to be like floor to ceiling or floor, you know what I mean? I'm just obsessed with that idea though. Just been doing some stuff around the house. I don't think my, I have a rug for in here coming and then I also have a rug for upstairs that I don't know, what it, it was supposed to come today, didn't it? Um, and then I have my cabbage soup that I'm heating up. This is so good by the way. I was so shocked by how good it was and it's so good for you. So I'm gonna have that for dinner and then I'm gonna start my new book. If you guys follow KU Book Club, you would know. I finished last night When in Rome by Sarah Adams and I read the cheat sheet a while ago, loved that book. It seems really cheesy, but it's actually really good. And then I read When in Rome and I really enjoyed it. I rated it a four star and I'm like, oh my God, I hope, I think she has one more book that I haven't read. Um, and then I know there's gonna be a spinoff of When in Rome, but it's really cute and good. Just like a good, like a feel good, you're still, your heartstrings are pulled, easy read and I just loved it. So that is on the agenda for tonight. I think I'm gonna get a little bit more work done. Anyways, this cabbage soup is incredible. Could have a nice little cozy fall night, but I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog here and then start a new one tomorrow just because I feel like this one's gotten really long. Oh my God, I put way too much soup in here. I feel like this one's gotten really long and I'm doing a bunch of stuff over the next like four or five days. So I'll be vlogging then. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This is my favorite time of year. And like, it's about to be so good, you know? But love you guys so much, and I will talk to you tomorrow. I love fall with my entire being. I think I was put on this earth to only live, realistically actually, not even just fall, from the months of September to about March. 